morning guys we've been out the fad i'm going to be doing an episode in reverse today i've done a lot of fishing over the weekend i've done a bit of lure fishing in the lake a bit of bait fishing in the lake and then i got a late opportunity to come out the fad and we done pretty well out there so i won't spoil it for you i'll let you um watch that when it comes along but i'll start from saturday and um show you Saturday, Sunday, Monday vision. Good, good three days. So, yeah, it's been good. I'll squeeze it all into one episode. Good times. Got one here. Didn't First. Um, shouldn't. It doesn't look overly. Oh, no, certainly don't now. Oh, <laughs> Tough lure, but it's, it's hanging together, which is very unusual for these plastics. Oh, alright, cheers. Yeah, the whole thing, mate. Yep. So, you don't want it to bunch up on the hook either when you put it on. Yeah. You want it to sit like that in the water, basically. So, you can get away with a smallish hook because it's quite thin yep. profile of the strip. And when you lay him along, you want it to sit flush. And your hook sort of there. So, we'll go in about there. So, yep. and then what I do is just a little hitch. half hitch at the top. Yeah. So when we when you're drifting along, well, I, I've got that kind of looks like a jig head. I wonder if I should take the jig head off. Oh, it's up to you, mate. Yeah. When it's drifting along, if you could use a jig head, you might be better off just hooking it through once. Yeah. Um, a little bit deep, maybe just enough meat to hold it on. You then you may lose it quick too. You don't know. Uh, yeah, this is how I got that 97 the other day, just on the tailor strip like this. Where are you down here? Yeah, unbelievable. There were so many flatheads around here lately. All hanging around for those tailor, I think. Do you want to take any fish home today? Oh, I don't mind, man. Whatever. Hope you want to take some. You can take some. Yeah. They're big, they seem to be bigger models at the moment up here. Oh, they're like Valentine, they're yeah, right. Yeah, they seem to be 40 or 40 plus up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's it's changes, but as quick as that, but at the moment, that's what they seem to be. Come on, mate, let go. You got a few biggies off there. <laughs> well, he's up really good, so we might keep this one for bait. He did come off, but we'll keep him. We'll keep him for bait. We've got some ice in here. I can always take him home if you want. So I got that big ninety-seven on the other day, mate. What's a, that? Just a slab of tailor. I got that 97 centimetre flathead on the other day. Oh, on tailor? Yeah. What did you do with that? Did you just put a chunk of meat out? Or did you yeah. Whole, you put the whole thing nah, in? No, no, just, just a strip. I got some, I got some, so many flathead. Nah. I can't believe he took the lure. <laughs> oh, geez, <laughs> a gill raked him. <laughs> He's pathetic. Oh, oh, there he is. It's probably a 40, but look how skinny he is. Yeah, that was good. I mean, it's it's hard to look at a flathead normal anymore after that big girl the other day. Even the 81 I was looking at the other day and it didn't have the size. Yeah, the head on it was nuts. There we go, there you go. Because the camera always... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, a bit over 50, 55 A few flatties coming in, it's good to see. Oh. It's always when you least expect them, isn't it? Getting straight under the boat, that one. Come on, mate. Yeah, I know, it's a risky spot, that hook beat. Did you feel him slip? Not a bad size one by the look of him, mate. 
It's going to be no 94 centimetre. Nah, that could be a reasonable one. It's growing. It's growing, mate. They're usually decent when they stay deep like this. Yeah. Mm. Mm, might be a 70 yeah. Yet. You should get a look at it. There he is. Oh, yeah, nice one. Oh, oh he's straight in, straight in the net. I think that's going to be a PB. That's 70 plus. Just that right. he's about 70. Fat little one. Yeah, good fat. Good job. Yeah, nice healthy looking specimen. On the thump tail, vibalicious there. Eh? All right, man, I told you. There you go, it's see? Persistent. It is persistent. Can I just cook three hours? Keep casting, keep well. casting. We knew that big one would come eventually. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about 68 or something. Jeez, it's a fat one for that size, but that smaller size. Yeah, 65. Pretty good. Fat fella for the size of him. Really stocky this time of year. They seem to be stocky up here for some reason. What are you going to do with me, mate? I'll let him go. You going to let him go? Yeah. Alright. Give a swim. If you're gentle, they tend to be gentle with you. Oh, nothing wrong with him. Come on, mate. Cabin in ink, good belly. Yeah. Oh, you got a whole one. Such a big one, eh? Yeah. I'd be surprised, but 50 flathead would eat that. Pigs, they are. I'm almost dead on my battery here. I think we've got enough battery. The weight, but I think I've hooked him funny. It feels, feels really weird. Like he's hooked in the gill or something. What about the net here, mate? Very unusual. Oh, shit. It's a big flathead. Shit. Shit. Oh, man. What have you done? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. You've been good on camera? You always butchered that one. It's about the same size. A 68. Same one. Has he got a yeah. No, he's a healthy one, this one. This battery's about to go dead on this. Can you golf that head first? There we go. Mr. Lua's been doing me proud. 130 mil. Big profile. Big profile lure. Hey, he looks about the same size as yours, but without the red tail. Oh, wrong way. More. 65 on the top. Looks like he's about the same, mate. A bit smaller. 64, mate. Oh, yeah. You yeah, you did. You got me. <laughs> you got me by a centimetre. Nice flathead, but good eating size. You'd be going to keep him. We already got a couple in the esky, so we'll let this girl go. Good fish, eh? Yeah, they're pretty solid up this end, eh? Width wise. Nice solid fish. Here you go, mate. Whew. Oh, it's a tailor. Yeah. No, I'm good at releasing them today, aren't I? Really good at releasing them. It's weird, eh? They must be feeding on different profile to our lure because. There's so many Taylor. Got one here, first one of the morning. On the fork tail. Feels like a good flathead actually, a lot of weight here. It's a very light setup, but geez, there's a lot of weight here. This could be a really good flathead. Only light setup this one. I think it might be eight pound braid. 
really light sort of rod, but oh, big girl, big girl. It's a good 80 plus here. Wow, good start to the morning. Straight, straight in, mate. Get him in. Oh, could be. Wow. What's going on with these big flathead these days? Got him on the 15 pound trace there on the little five inch flick bait. Quarter ounce jig head. What a good start. Beautiful fish. What do you think about that, mate? Got our sidekick here today. What do you think about that? Nice fish. <laughs> See if I can get this lure out. Yep. There we go. Got a brag mate there, do you mate? Cool. Hey, he looks like a bit at 80. Quality fish. Maybe a bit under. Yeah, 76, 7 those. 76 and a half. Beautiful fish. Nice quality flathead for the morning. And I'll show you the little lure I got him on. Yeah, just a flick bait. Good white bait imitation. Quarter ounce jig head, 3-0. A good start to the morning. That's why you let him go. Let her go, I should say. You gonna let me pick you up, girl? Ooh, not... I think the dog's putting her off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Spike's really sticking out. She um, feels a bit threatened. Oh, let's see if I can get her back in without her carrying on. <laughs> Nothing wrong with her. Went back fighting fit. Oh yeah, I think it squids at it. See if anything follows it. No. Yeah. Really dummy. So what are those little things called? Uh these are jerk shads, I think they oh, call them. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. You have to put a fair bit of movement in them because they're they don't really do much. Yeah. So you really have to sort of give them a good flick. Out here with my mate Mark having a fish. We're going to be trying a bit of everything today. A bit of lure fishing, a bit of bait fishing. And we just anchored up. We're going to be doing a bit of burly and just basic frozen bait. See what we can pull up. Should be able to burly a bit of brim, trevally, snapper, flathead around the boat. And who knows, a bit of bycatch too. All right, I'll flash through all the rigs and burley and bait and whatever else. Show you how what we're using. So we're keeping this very simple today. We've got our burley mix here. Rabbit pellets with tuna oil. It's good cheap burley. And then we're just going pilchard. Nice simple full pilchard. Onto a 4 -0. And I'm just hooking them once through like that. And giving it a half hitch. 20 pound trace I'm running here. Still get a lot of bite offs from the big tailor and that around, but tends to cover most species 20 pound. And I'm putting a bit of scent. A bit of scent on my um, bait as well. Seems to help with it. The attractant. Just lobbing it out there with a small bean sinker. Hold a handful of burley. We're just starting to get the fish come in the burley stream now, so we're starting to get a few bites. Won't take long, we should get a few fish hopefully. Maybe a brim. Snapper. <laughs> snapper. <laughs> not a bad little snapper from the... Hey, not a bad little snapper. It's all right. Looks like he's over 30. Might be your dinner, mate. What do you got, mate? Brimbo. There you go. You said you don't. You haven't caught a, <laughs> a brim. There you go. Right. Brim or snapper? What do we got? 
I mean, he's not that big out there anyway. Yeah, Brimbo. Good to see him moving in there. Just around that 30 centimetre size. Nice clean looking fish though. There you go. There's some big ones. I don't know. <laughs> what are we got? Worth putting them in for? Nah. I don't think so, mate. It's a snapper by the feel of him. Oh, Brimbo again. He's getting it pretty thick down here yeah. with his brim at the moment. Mm -hmm. Aaron, Aaron would be um, having a field day here. What's legal? They're 32, aren't they? Uh, 30 no, centimetre? Nah, 20, 25. Oh, really? Yeah, only 25, Brimbo. So he's well and truly legal. He's probably a good, yeah, 32 centimetre fish or something. So well, there you go. You want to keep a couple of them? guys out here on a beautiful 28 foot cruiser with a few mates and the plan is today to head right out to the fad it's about 17k out and we're here at the moment at the headland we're hoping to get some bait we've already got a big tailor in the esky and we've got a few yakker already in the esky so hopefully we can add to that and head out to the fad pretty quickly would be nice Oh, got something. Hope it's a yakka. I'm doubtful. Is that a seven meter? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a flathead. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I got a little snapper now. I think so. Yeah, a little snapper. I'm getting all the stuff we don't want. Benito, is it? Oh, Benito time. Oh. Oh. Trally. I thought one or the other. I might keep him because he's my they're one of my faves to eat fresh. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, I don't mind them. Yeah, like Bit of sashimi. Smoked. Smoked, either way. I think you smoked the last one. Little sh little sh Oh the old I got the I got the other old boot. Yeah. I'm just gonna go float it, that's gonna get smashed. Nah, I've done a couple of things. I, gonna, I should. Uh, yeah. Throw it out there, yeah. Probably right. Yeah. Just wanna get that bend in the right, eh? Get the crescent. Oh, yep. Oh. Yeah, there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got him that time. Come on. Strip boat. Oh, here we go, guys. 
first fish of the morning on the strip bait and he's going for that fad. Get out of there. Well, it seems to be handling it okay. <laughs> the light rod. Oh, he just pinged me. He's still there, still at, they're chasing him. They're yeah, still trying to eat my bait. Got him another one. <laughs> Got another one here. Jeez, this one. Jeez, this one's got a bit of weight. He's gonna scream off here in a minute. It's got a lot of weight. What have I hooked, a kingy or something? It feels different. Jesus. Oh, not, oh yeah. Got a dolly. Oh, nice dolly. Good start. Beautiful fish they are. Oh, that should be out of lifting. <laughs> yeah. Bloody beautiful, look at that, good start. Ripper. Um, what do they have to be, 60, don't they? I think he looks like he'd be that. Oh, if, oh, there's my cover picture, finally. Right. Not really, but... <laughs> gonna get it. Calm down, mate. Oh, that was good fun, the old strip bait, eh? No sinker, strip bait. No sinker. Uh, where's that braggy? Beautiful fish these are. They really are beautiful fish. He's 60, 65 pretty much on the dot. Are really they beautiful? Really beautiful. Alright, I'll get a picture. There we go guys, beautiful dolphin fish to start the morning. Good start, just a floating strip bait. Bloody awesome. I haven't caught a big one of these, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, we're gonna keep a couple for the table. Whack him in the ice box. Woo! What did you do, single hook? Single hook, strip. Decent strip, bud, I'm using. Yeah, I think I'm doing fine. I'm reeling up slowly. I just roll it. What do you got on? What do you got on a jig? Oh, I got no idea. Yeah, jig, you got to work pretty hard. No, nah, it's got bait. Oh, it's got bait. All right, let's see if I can do that again. That was oh, yeah. Um, Well, you don't need big setups then, do you? Oh, man, for a... For a bigger model, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I dealt with that little one pretty easy. We're going to chop quickly. I got a, I got scissors in my. Oh, I'm on again! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, he dropped it. I just went to wash my hand. Oh, you see, they're they're on ones. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. He's on again. This is non-stop action. How the hell? Come on, jump, baby. Give me some aerial. <laughs> no, you're right. Look how good they look in the water, man. Be awesome. Oh, it's a blue as. Wow. Good size. Oh, I dropped him. Snap me. Maybe we should use the net. There's a blue one on board now. You got the yellow one before, but. Lovely blue model now. Oh, well, I'm getting out there. Hey, it's all happening. It's all happening. What are they? 60s? 60s, yeah. Doesn't take long, does it? As soon as it shrinks down that little bit. He's dead on. Now we'll bang him in. Knife him in the head if you can. Oh, I'm back. Oh, yep, I'm on again. <laughs> on the bait board. Oh, he jumped and threw it. See if I can hook again. At the boy. Yeah, near the boy. If, if, uh, Not over it. If he doesn't get the hook up, oh, I want to change our hook for a bigger hook. Yeah, right. You just let it sink, mate. And when that line goes tight, you know they nailed it. So I like, I like to let it out, keep letting it, so it keeps sinking. They're at ya. I just saw a tail at your bait. Oh, See him? Yeah. Oh, yep. I'm on. Oh, no. I'm on. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh. He, oh, oh. Daddy. 
Oh, blow, blue. Look at this one. Come on, eat it. Decent one, mate. Ooh. Oh, it's all happening. Got him. On? Yeah, you got him that time. Got him that time. Whee! Oh, little fella. Still got him? Yeah, still got him. I'm here, buddy. Jeez. Look at him coming. That's a good one you got there, mate. Yeah. It's not bad at all. About oh, 70. Right, oh. Look at that. this. Bloody fish everywhere. <laughs> Chaos. That's what we like to see. Chaos of fish. Blood on the deck. Proper blood on the deck. Oh, the joys of a big boat. We were so close to coming back in, and buddy, one of the motors overheated, and yeah, it happens when you got big boats. Cost more money. Anyway, got a bit of entertainment to add to the video. I've got a coast guard here towing us in. Never a dull adventure on Luke on Hunter's fishing adventures. Yeah, never a dull moment on Hunter's Fishing Adventures. There's always something going on. I wish I got the I wish I got the footage earlier. But he had one of mates checking the radiator and he took the cap off and the thing exploded like a volcano. I was almost gonna jump overboard. It was bloody water and oil going everywhere. So yeah, a bit of entertainment. Anyway, at least we've got some fish heading back in now. Almost back at the headland. What an adventure, eh? Added a bit more excitement to the adventure. I don't know if you can make that out, but we've got a jellyfish plague in the lake at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Every metre of the water seems to have a big jellyfish in them. Crazy. That many jellyfish? Insanity. Just everywhere. I don't know what to go with them. That's it, guys. Another adventure done. Jeez, I had a big weekend. Finished with the dolphin fish there, and shit, we had fun doing that. We all had great fun. Took us like bring us back the little kids that did so yeah good fun i'm gonna do that again for sure and the uh, lake's still going well estuary's still going well plenty of flathead and tailor and jews and everything in there so everything's still going well get out there all right guys subscribe like drop a comment give me some tips help me out i'll yeah yeah every bit helps actually give me some guidance all right guys if you ain't fishing you're wishing and I'll see you on the next one. Catch us.